Hail ECGS Day. I'm coming at you with another video and we've got a bit of a different topic we want to talk about today. I want to talk about uh, video game collecting and whether or not charity shops, also known as thrift stores, are a good way to uh, get your video game collection started. So next to me I have a section of video games from uh, four different charity shops that I bought in my local shop. I've got one or two local ones to me because, you know, I've got two in my city. So we're gonna have a look at these and you'll notice a pattern with these games. You'll notice a pattern. So yeah, we have a stack. It's a nice, thick stack. So the first, well, the first game we're gonna talk about is Actual Soccer Free, which is a game by Gremlin Software because Gremlin Software did this as a PC version, which PC games are basically worthless nowadays. Uh, no one has a PC to play PC games anymore. It's all digital thanks to Steam, so that's kind of worthless. Then we have Rayman 2 The Great Escape with Pro Rally 2001. So this is a little PC exclusive collection, nice little collection. Once again, it's a PC collection, so PC games, not really worth much now, because obviously no one collects for the PC, because the PC, it's all digital. The next one on our list is Screamer Rally, which is a racing game. Uh, like I said, not 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 bad, not bad. One I've never really heard of, but it's nice to have this. But once again, PC game. I think you guys are starting to notice the trend. Then we have The Sims D Double Deluxe, which is a four-disc PC copy of The Sims uh, by EA Games and Maxis. So yeah, nice little uh, nice Sims game. Once again, it's own it's a PC game, which you can get these games on like what's it, uh, EA Play or Steam. And with Sims 4 being free to play, I don't really know why you want to buy the old ones to be honest. Then you have FIFA 10. Arguably one of the best FIFA games because this is when FIFA meant something. It wasn't this EA FC crap. It was an actual sports game. And it's got I believe there's Wayne Rooney on the front because obviously it was Wayne Rooney. Who doesn't love Wayne Rooney? He used, to, he used to go back in my day. All these kids nowadays have they have their Mbappe. And we have Soldiers Hero of World War 2, which is a Code Masters game for the PC, which I mean Code Masters made a sh made, a sh made 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 this game, which is kind of crazy to me, because obviously Code Masters is known for making racing games. So at least nowadays. My generation grew up with them making racing games. I know older generations grew up with them making games like CJ's Elephant Antics and how can the Oliver Twins make the Dizzy games, which is kind of funny. Then we have ch ch World Championship Snooker 2003 for the PC. Once again, another PC game. And this is a sports game because sports games are worthless. Then we have this one's one of a, a more obscure one that I'm actually happy I got because I didn't even know this existed. We have Disney Treasure Planet. Yeah, Battle uh, Battle at Procon. I'm happy to have this because I didn't know this existed. I already made a short on it and whatnot, but this, this one I'm happy about because Obviously, Treasure Planet is, a, is, a, is, a, is quite an obscure Disney movie. It's not as well known as other Disney movies. So I'm actually happy to have this game. Then we have Assassin's Creed. This is classic. Obviously, this is a super price to got it. I thought this was quite a good deal for what this is, game is. Uh, these, this game is obviously back when Assassin's Creed was actually good. And it wasn't just, uh, oh, we're gonna have Vikings in it. Or, oh, we're gonna throw this, um, it, 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 we're gonna throw it in like ancient Egypt. And they weren't yearly releases, which is kind of cool. But yeah, that's the list of games we've got for four charity shops. Obviously, with charity shops and thrift stores, your, your experiences will differ depending on which location you go to, which city you're in, and it depends on what people trade in. So this isn't representative of all of them. This is just a four I went to. There are at least about 50 in my in my city, so I could go to quite a few others and get different to see if there's anything there. But I chose to go to those four because they were local. I thought it would be good for this video. So do I think that they're a good position? It, it really depends on how many you've got local to you and how, how you know dedicated you are to collecting and what you're looking for. Like I said, the majority of what I've got picked up was PC games and PC games aren't really that great to really collect for nowadays because most PCs and laptops don't have disk drives anymore. So it, it's kind of a mixed bag, you know, it's kind of a mixed bag. So I do recommend having a look. If you're new to collecting or you just want to get into collecting or you're just looking for something obscure, there have been stories I've seen online where people got like Nintendo Switch games for like five, five quid in in charity shops, and I'm like, okay, that that's kind of cool. However, not sure how like that is anymore. But I did actually get a demo disc, which I don't think I have on me at the minute. I did get an Xbox 360 demo disc from a, from a charity shop about two years ago, which I think was pretty cool. 
And it's got like cool little World War Three like, demo for cars, all, all quite a few great little demos on it. Now, those are all those are going to be obviously a lot more obscure. They're going to be hard to find in charity shops. And I do think uh, that if you want to go to browse them, uh, you have a little browse every once in a while, you might find something worth collecting. But it's not likely that everything is going to be worth collecting. So I recommend obviously going to them just to have a little. Just like to suss up the area, have a little look, a little, uh, you know, a little uh, search and rescue. If you find what you want, grab it. If you can't, don't. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know. I've been EC and I'm signing out. Peace.